killer. Yo, what's going on guys, Gamer here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Super episode review, and I'm going to go ahead and apologize in the beginning of the video saying that I am sorry for not getting these review episodes up earlier, because, um, you know, as you know, uh, if you saw my video like over a week ago or so, uh, about like two weeks ago, uh, Hurricane Harvey hit Houston, and of course I live in Houston, Texas, so of course I was affected by it. My house did flood a little bit, my computer was completely ruined, I, and I couldn't uh, edit, really record well, uh, and stuff like that, but I do have something to edit on for the time being until I get a new computer and I can record, so, and also I've been kind of just really lazy I haven't been uh, feeling that well uh, as of lately but I am back to review episode 105 and 106 of Dragon Ball Super those videos will come out uh, so tomorrow at the time of me recording this it's about almost 11 o'clock so you will see this uh, later on tomorrow uh, hopefully if I don't forget to you know upload these videos of course but anyways let's go ahead and, and jump right into the review for Dragon Ball Super episode 105 and the beginning of the episode begins off with basically just a gag of Zeno not being able to do math right so they're basically just trying to figure out how many how many people are left and basically it's more than half of the people that were in the tournament are gone and really quick I want to say that I love this episode I love this episode because it's Master Roshi uh, you know uh, it's focused on Master Roshi and I love Master Roshi. He was one of my favorite characters back in Dragon Ball. And he was always considered one of my favorite characters in Dragon Ball just because he was that gag perverted old man that most uh, Shonen Jump anime have. And uh, just this episode when it was focused on Master Roshi, it, it, it was just awesome. To the Toei writers did an amazing job with this episode and I could have never asked for anything more. The, for a Master Roshi episode, and the, be the beginning of the episode uh, and uh, starts with Master Roshi basically looking for, you know, his next fighter, and the next fighter that he fights is Kawe, I believe that's what her name is, Kawaii, uh, well, however you say her name. Most of these people's names I'm not gonna, you know, remember besides uh, Ganos, who is the last person that Master Roshi fights in the finale of the episode, but uh, Master Roshi does fight Kawe who is, you know, a, a really pretty attractive girl, I guess you can say, in the anime. And of course, for those of you who are Master Roshi fans or just know your Dragon Ball, Master Roshi is a very perverted old man, and when he sees a pretty girl, he kind of just, you know, just lets, it lets his, his desires take control of him. So of course, uh, Kawa, Kawe tries to extort that or exploit that, by, you know, trying to use her pretty looks to basically knock off Master Roshi, but of course that fails because before the Tournament of Power actually started, he actually was able to, you know, suppress his desires for, for women and ladies, and he was able to knock uh, Kawe out just by powering up, uh, kind of going into his buff form uh, that we all know and love, and so... Uh, Kawe just knocks herself off just because uh, she, she saw Master Roshi as a perverted old man and was really scared of him for some reason. Uh, this next person, this next uh, lady actually, then goes and attacks uh, Master Roshi. Master Roshi showed off a lot of amazing stuff in this, in this fucking episode. I'm sorry, I just, I just have to say it again because... Master Roshi, like I said, is one of my favorite characters, and this episode was awesome. Especially the finale. Had me shook it up for a second. Like, it, it was awesome. But a lot of the lighting, the scripting, and just overall the animation for this episode was really good. And I'm glad they actually did a good job for good old Master Roshi because, you know, he's been in Dragon Ball for forever. So the, they also make Beerus, you know, acknowledge Master Roshi. And I. That's just crazy, man. So anyways, the next fighter that Master Oshi, uh, of course, fights, uh, I don't remember what her name is, but I do know that she is basically a master of uh, illusions. And it is revealed that Master Oshi has been 
noticing a lot of techniques and fighting styles of a lot of these enemies and so he basically knows what a lot of these universe 4 fighters are able to do so it's pretty interesting but of course uh you know this uh, this fighter uh puts master roshi in a whole bunch of illusions and it's revealed that she is some sort of demon so what do you do against the demon when you're master roshi you whip out the mafuba or the evil containment wave in the dub and that's what he does he points or uh, he takes out a jar a little jar and then uses the mafuba and of course if you know the rules of the tournament you know that that is considered a weapon and that's considered outside help in the sense of it is considered a weapon so you know i was wondering if they were actually going to mention that because i was a little s skeptical about it and then of course the universe 4 got destruction i don't remember what his name is i apologize for not remembering uh he points it out and then zeno is like it's okay we'll let it pass whatever because he thought it was neat he thought it was interesting so he let it slide and that's something that's gonna probably be probably lazy writing but also kind of charismatic of Zeno's character it's kind of weird because it may be lazy writing but it's like it is very much what Zeno would probably do because Zeno is basically just kind of like a little kid and just wants to see really cool fights and stuff so I, I guess it makes sense but of course the next fighter that we do see Master Oshi fight is Ganos, 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 I'm gonna say his name is Ganos for this video. Uh, he fights Master Oshi, uh, he transforms into a hybrid bird duck form, well duck is a bird but still. He turns into, into a giant, you know, <laughs> he turns into a giant fucking bird as a transformation and with this transformation he becomes obviously much more stronger and it is revealed that as time goes by in this tournament he actually does become significantly more stronger and the episode with master Oshi being able to fight ganos was actually really cool because he's an old man in like slippers and shit and he's able to dodge all these attacks read all of his attacks he's super predictable and a really cool line that they did with master Oshi was uh, you know, you're you're a strong fighter or whatever he said, but I've had more experience and that's very much true. A lot of people doubted Master Roshi because of, you know, his old age. But people seem to forget that yes, Master Roshi is an old man, but he's had experience with mar martial arts and tournaments for a very long time. Just because he's old doesn't mean he doesn't have the experience of a martial artist. So Ganos is putting in a lot of good hits against Master Roshi. Uh, like I said, he is getting stronger by the minute, so this is proving much more of a challenge for Master Roshi. Master Roshi is thrown against the wall, he's using different techniques, they're not working, and so they have this really, really cool scene where Master Roshi is basically starting to power up and into his buff form and show off a Kamehameha, uh, a really powerful Kamehameha. And it's a really amazing scene with great art style and animation of scenes from Goku and Krillin where you know they basically taught Master Roshi that they can that he can go surpass the limits of what he can and it it, it was it was an awesome scene cuz it's like it makes you you know go go back or it's it's like a throwback to you know early Dragon Ball when Goku and Krillin were training un under you know old tur turtle harm and Master Roshi and just you know, he shoots off the Kamehameha and the Kame style Kamehameha, the most powerful technique from the Kame house, and he knocks off Ganos off of the arena. So, in this episode by himself, Master Oshi got three eliminations. Three eliminations. That's absolutely insane. And then, of course, we see Master Oshi faint. He falls to the floor. And, of course, you know, Krillin and Goku, as students from the old Turtle, Turtle Home and Master, they're freaking out and they're wondering like is he okay or whatever and meanwhile Goku is actually stuck in Machi Kaio's uh, kind of like chokehold attack and Goku's freaking out of course right so he goes into blue form sacrifices a little bit of that stamina that he was conserving goes over to Master Roshi he doesn't seem to be breathing so he shoots off a whole bunch of attacks not attacks but like he starts 
trying to regurgitate him. He's starting to try to bring him back to life. And what I assume why they were like kind of, you know, worried about Master Oshi right there is because this I, this is I, I'm going to go ahead and guess that it is considered a natural cause. So the Dragon Balls would be something that wouldn't be able to bring him back to life. So it was a very serious moment for the Turtle Hermit students of the Kame House and uh, Master Roshi actually wakes up. Uh, he's all right. He he gets up, and you know uh, what's awesome is Beerus acknowledges him for the finale of the episode, and it was it it was awesome. It was a really great finale for the episode for the old uh, the old fucking Master Roshi, old man Master Roshi. It was awesome. We actually see Goku like kind of like you know concerned about something, and you know. It's, it, it, recently people have been noticing that it, it seems like Goku isn't like concerned for anything or he's just being really selfish and that's not the case he obviously cares for for his old master and his friends of course but you know this is a tournament where he's able to fight some of the strongest people in all the different universes he's gonna take the opportunity when he can but in the scenario where his master seems to be dying and on the tournament stage, I apologize for uh, the hiccup. Where it seems like his master is like basically dying on the floor on a tournament stage. Of course, he's going to be worried. But Master Oshi surpasses his own limits. He is alive uh, for the time being, of course. He's a he's alive. There's 34 minutes left in the tournament, and that is the finale of the episode. Writing was very good in this episode. Animation. Most of the time, I didn't see any some sort of problems with the animation or the art style, so it was very good. And overall, uh, just go watch the episode if you haven't seen it already. Most of you have probably already seen it because uh, this is episode 105. I have haven't been able to really record and you know edit these videos like the way I have been able to. So you guys have probably already seen the episode, but if you haven't already, there is a link down in the description for uh, Crunchyroll, where you can see all the latest episodes of Dragon Ball Super, all the way from episode 1 to episode 106. So if you guys do want to go check out Crunchyroll, uh, please do so. I'm not sponsored. This isn't a sponsored video. I just think that Crunchyroll is one of the best websites to watch sub anime that also comes around at the same time as you know as it airs in Japan. So if you want to keep up with Dragon Ball Super in the Japanese version, be sure to go check out Crunchyroll and try out their premium uh, you know pack so that way you, you can also try to support the series as as well as enjoy it. And you can also watch shows like Boruto, uh, uh, Attack on Titan, uh, my Hero Academia, all this, all these other shows, they're they're all amazing. Just go check out Crunchyroll if you haven't already. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. I need to go ahead and record the episode 106 review uh, because, like I said, these videos, two, these two videos will be coming out later tomorrow. Uh, it's almost 11 o'clock, uh, like I said. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.